So welcome back to another Young Blooms tutorial, lovely to, to be here again. Um, this one's going to be slightly different, I'm not going to be showing you in detail how to do the first part of this uh, tutorial, more want to talk about a new online workshop that I've got going. So essentially going to be teaching via Zoom, teaching you how to make a hand tie. So you will get a lovely selection of blooms delivered to you, to your door. Um, and then you and I can spend time on Zoom working through the mechanics of how to create a hand tie. So we'll learn about spiralling the stems, um, learn about how to arrange them, um, what types of flowers to use, all that kind of stuff, how to, to look after the flowers. Um, but that's that's what I want to uh, to talk about. So I've, the second part of it though uh, will be about wrapping. So I'm going to do a more in detail um, look at wrapping flowers. Because I think one of the most popular um, tutorials on my channel is about the hand tie, wrapping a hand tie. Um, so do check that one out if you haven't watched it already. Um, but one of the, or I know, a couple of subscribers have asked about wrapping with hessian. So to finish the bouquet off and how do you do that. So I'm going to do that. I've got some hessian and some nice tissue. Once I've done this hand tie then um, we'll go through how to do that. But I've got those flowers so we'll get started um, and we'll go from there. So, like I said, those uh, blooms you will get delivered to your door and it will be an interesting selection of flowers that are grown in our garden here um, and also uh, flowers from the flower market. Um, so it will just be a really helpful, um, a really useful time to, to be able to uh, chat through the types of flowers that um, you'll have your understanding of them, you know how to care for them, that sort of thing. And then we'll look at um, doing the spiral technique that I'm doing as I'm talking to you. So it's a really useful technique to, to learn, I think, because you kind of think actually sending flowers to people is such a lovely thing to do. And if you know how to arrange flowers, you know how to make them look pretty, and not that they don't look pretty already, but you know what I mean. Um, you know, you know how to arrange them. It's actually really, really helpful and really useful. So, um, I have got a very interesting mix here. Some are really delicate. Some are, are a bit more sturdy. Um, we've got all sorts. So we've got foxgloves from the garden at the moment, which are gorgeous. Um, we've got eucalyptus. Got love in the mist. Um, the love in the mist is gorgeous. It's um, really pretty and really delicate. So blues and whites. I love that. Um, also got some spray roses from just from the flower market. Um, I'll try with your box of blooms to make sure that they're locally grown as much as possible because I think it's really important to uh, to have that. Got some astrantia in, in here that's grown in our garden here and also some feverfew, uh, feverfew which is not quite out in flower but the foliage itself is nice and sturdy so that's great. We've got some nice little geums love those. So you can kind of see my spirals, spiral is coming together quite nicely and I know I probably make this look really easy um, but once you know it's quite straightforward. So it'd be great to have the time to be, get you to a point where you know you can um, make a hand tie and it stands up because <laughs> technically when I've tied this and the stems are all spiral it should stand uh, by itself. So that will be the aim of our session. So it'll probably be like an hour, I don't know, uh, maybe less, where you can ask me any questions you want. Um, and it will be in small groups of people. So, um, you know, you'll have a chance to, to ask. So essentially that's what we're going to create, a really beautiful little hand tie for you. Um, and I'll put all the materials you need in, so string, uh, your wrapping, um, a bit of raffia so you can finish it off with a bow um, and that will be that will be the time well spent I say so I kind of think it's a lovely lovely way to uh, spend an hour or two um, to be able to create um, enjoy creating something new um, I think will be just the just the thing so If you fancy learning how to make a hand tie, then um, keep an eye out for my website, the details will be uh, released fairly soon. Um, 
Okay, so I just have a single piece of tissue paper here, um, just like so, and I've folded it long ways. Again, watch the um, wrapping, hand tie wrapping tutorial on uh, my channel. This kind of will go into it slightly in slightly more detail. But all you do is just a cut up the middle, like so, and then fold these two back and tape them like that. So that's kind of stage one, so you've got that. And then all you do is lay the hand tie on top like that in the middle um, and you're just wrapping it round like so taping it across the back. Okay. And that kind of finishes it off. I'll show you from further away so you can actually see, but that's the uh, tissue stage. Okay, so just to give you an idea of what you do there. It doesn't look very attractive at the moment, but don't worry, it will when it's finished. So, stage two is the Hessian, and I'll just get that in a second. So the next stage is the hessian and I just have this, it's essentially hessian ribbon but it's just really wide. So I've measured this and this one is about 65 centimetres long and it's about 26, 25, 26 centimetres wide so it is it's quite thick stuff. Um, but that's what we're going to use just to finish off the wrapping. So essentially all you're doing is turning it on an angle, you want the point of the of the hessian kind of at the top and you're going to lay the bouquet on like so okay hopefully you can see this so bring it down so the the kind of neck of the bouquet is just on the edge of the, the hessian ribbon uh, and then all you're going to do is just fold it over like so and just really simply kind of wrap it, gather it at the where my hand is here, gather it. So you pulled up the edges and you're just turning it over. You're just turning it over. And the way that I attach it, rather than, I mean tape's not going to hold, is I just use a stapler. So just gathering those bits there and there, and then at the top, staple at the top, and that just, that just keeps it together. Um, and all you do then is to cut yourself a piece of lovely ribbon, you know, whatever you've got, whether it's just um, garden twine or, you know, anything nice and rustic. So I've just got this velvet green ribbon, which is very pretty. I'm just going to tie myself a big floppy bow just to finish it off there we go it's a range that's better And just get it even on both sides and that really finishes it off I think so you've you've kind of you've got hmm, why is it one there we go that's better make it nice and even so you've got a lovely bow to finish the bottom off so I'll show you that from further away and you can see the finished effect so there you go you have a, a lovely little hand tie finished off with hessian and tissue um, just a really useful technique um, and I think with all these things I always play and see what works you know experiment create that sort of thing and I love sort of doing this you know finishing touches nice um, beautiful ribbon that just I think adds that um, that finishing touch but hopefully this has been helpful um, and if you are interested in the zoom workshops then do keep an eye out on the website uh, for they will be going up soon and uh, thank you as always to new subscribers, it's really lovely to have you on board. The channel's growing and it's great, and I no pun intended. Um, and I really enjoy you know, doing these sorts of things, I think it's, it's good fun. 
So hopefully this has been helpful and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time.